Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. We now have word that U.S. banks are preparing for major cyber attacks after the U.S. has just launched the latest round of sanctions against Russia. Some people are not going to see what's coming, although we have been warning about this for a long time. I just put out a clip on my Twitter account showing Marco Rubio telegraphing a huge cyber event. He first was warning about it in a series of tweets, saying some different stuff back and forth. Then I caught a clip of him talking on Fox News, saying that we're going to get hit and we're more than likely going to respond back to Russia. And it's all over the place. Part of the plan is they have to tell us what's going to happen. We are guaranteed to get hit by cyber attacks. They never let a good crisis go to waste. So we're about to see something unfold here in America that most of the people, most of the sheep are not prepared for, even though we've been warning about it day in and day out for ever, forever and ever. And this could snowball up to a lights out type of situation, depending on what they hit. They just attacked and hit the turbines throughout Europe, some 5,800 of them. It's ran by a German company. So they're going after the utilities. We've seen them beta test already water plants, hospitals, and all the above. At any time now, this is going to go into motion. Now, I want to give a shout out to those out there fighting the fight that share this information. It's appreciated to the fullest. I want to read here from what they're saying with this. They're saying that the banks are preparing, the global banks are already on top of this, that they've been planning, and that they're trying to put out warnings to the private sector. Hmm. So it looks like the private sector, private, the private groups are saying private businesses here, private businesses. They're not being told exactly what's going on. They're saying that the government is failing to specify what they're talking about here they're saying that they're prepared full scale but they're not giving any specific details to what they should be looking for they feel like they're being left in the dark they're saying that you should expect to see here ransomware malware attacks ddos attacks taking down the websites stifling people from getting money out of atms who knows what this is going to end up leading to they're saying the largest banks out there, the U.S. banks of J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, and Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, Sachs, did not, respond, did not respond to requests for comments, and they declined to discuss their cybersecurity plans. Okay, but they say that they have the highest standard for cybersecurity. Now, just back in November, so that you're aware, there was a system-wide ransomware drill that was ran by our alphabet gangs involving the biggest banks, but all the smaller guys were left out. You know how all the small businesses were wiped out during the scam. We got a new round that we're in. If you haven't noticed folks, and it looks like the cyber stuff is about to pop off full scale. I mean, Rubio in the clip that it has put out said, we're going into a cyber war. So that's where we're taking this. Get ready. They've done telegraphed it. They've done warned that it's coming. It's just a matter of waking up and saying it has begun. Join me on the live stream where I talk about this in great. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakapadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing, say, taste to the hopeful lake out there pushing this word and truth. And then sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Aosha pushing to get up out of here, man. Shout out to the hopefully the believers and listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith 
in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And um, as you can, as 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 you heard, okay, from Dabu, you know, um, pretty much they're, you know, hinting, you know, at cyber attacks, you know, bank glitches, um, you know, and they when what are they using, you know, the the narrative of the, the Russian war with Ukraine. So you see how off this one narrative, you know, they can pretty much fabricate multiple crises man okay like we said it's not about russia versus ukraine it's about global agendas going forward and having a scapegoat to blame it on okay putin is the villain of this narrative okay what well, we're seeing with this whole russia ukraine you know of course eventually it's gonna be actual war you know but we know one thing that the, the, the media, especially of the West, is no different than the Madea play. Okay? It's no different than the Madea play. Lights, camera, actions. And they get the world to believe in these false narratives. They get the masses to believe in these false narratives. Now they can bring about what they really want to do. Okay? So as we, you know, patiently wait for things to continue to escalate just know that something major can happen any day okay a cyber attack takes seconds okay and the scriptures speak of particular things and see at the end of the day it's not so much of why they doing it who's doing it it's about okay it's gonna happen thus said the lord all right now this is second Ezra 15 and 11 it said but i will bring them um with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and this is the deliverance of the elect via Yahweh Shai and smite Egypt which is America with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof so one of the plagues of modern Egypt will be these cyber attacks which will shut down grid destroy um, um, supply chains okay destroy businesses destroy okay banks okay that cyber attack is, is, I can see it being very effective in just turning america into a third world country man you know because it's going to happen all right and you go into the accounts of ancient egypt because it said he said he's gonna play egypt as before okay then you know there's gonna be plague after plague that's gonna hit this place man okay and this 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 thing you know that they passed by okay they brought about the mask and the juice okay it was likened to a light plague but see now it's gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse okay just like in ancient egypt the plagues got worse and worse and worse man okay and they speak of this one when you go to wisdom of solomon 17 and i started one it says for great are thy judgment that cannot be expressed therefore unnurtured souls have erred for when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness and fed up with bonds of a long night, laid their exile from the eternal, all right, province, man. Okay, so that plague of darkness that hit ancient Egypt, you best believe it's going to be one for America, man. Okay, it's going to be some light side events that happen, man. And it's, it, hey, how about Shema Oshai is finna really terrorize the planet Earth, man. You see, people equate you know, like these scary moves you see with different demons and apparitions. Hey, that's how the most high get down, man. Okay. The scripture will refer one of his titles as the kings of terror, man. He's about to terrorize the earth, man. And America gonna get it the worst, man. Because it's the most proud and rebellious, man. Okay. It says, for a while they supposed to lie, um, in their secret sins they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions man letting people see demons man okay hearing different sounds and you know he terrorized these egyptians man you know he was a terror unto these egyptians all right the <laughs> name hemites man miss ryan okay and it says for neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear 
but noises as waters falling down sounded about them and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenance no power of fire might uh give them light neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to lighten that horrible night you see they couldn't even create light man okay it was so dark and thick it was a thick darkness that you couldn't even create a light man you know do you <laughs> you can imagine what that do to your mental man people was going psychotic okay just in this society man so you know as we you know um, um patiently wait on things you know what i say to escalate man a hey, something drastic can happen any day you know just always have a mind frame that something drastic okay and and, and life change it can happen at any day man all right so lord will you brothers and you few sisters edify until next time i say shalom